um, I was already aware of this uh, individual not going along with the EU takeover. So they will also then not just get everybody to rally around the corrupt bureaucracy by staging terror attacks uh, through the different variants. We don't know what type this is yet. But with the timing, it, it's not the very rare actual terror attack. I can tell you right now, 98% chance. There is a chance it could be real. I would say 2%. And this is all I do is eat, drink, sleep, and study this. I interview every global terrorism experts, the top professors, the top heads of Pentagon and, and, and CIA black ops. By the way, we got to get Steve Pachinik on. He called me a few weeks ago. I meant to call him back. Jaron, I want to get Pachenik on Sunday or Monday if he can do it and apologize. I meant to call him back. He, he, he talked about this kind of stuff coming up. I want to get him back on. Dr. Steve Pachenik, former head of um, Black Op. Well, he wrote the book on modern black ops and staged events, and he's gone public with the bin Laden thing and 9-11 being staged. I need to get him on because uh, things are quickening, and he agreed with my analysis two months ago that these bombings would be coming during the implosion. That That's definitely one of the main cards they're going to play. So... Uh, it has begun. It has begun. In fact, if we could even maybe get Pachenik to pop in um, a little bit uh, with, with Chapman as a prelude um, or as an entree, an hors d'oeuvre to Sunday, that might even be good. But, but we'll see what happens uh, with that today. But that just popped into my mind that we need to get him, uh, get him on. At least two killed in Oslo bombing, scores injured, uh, explosions damaged buildings in Norwegian capital. Uh, reportedly, uh, the prime minister was uh, in the building. Uh, chaos, people trapped. Uh, we'll continue to cover this uh, as it develops and unfolds. Uh, also, uh, we told you this last week because of our sources um, that you could look for a um, criminal investigation to be opened by the George Soros uh, Justice Department. And I'm not saying there shouldn't be an investigation, but again, you have Satan in, in investigating uh, Bathomet here. I mean, this is this is this is ridiculous. Um, James Murdoch denies misleading panel. Reuters, Bloomberg, News of the World workers are offered jobs in Siberia. So the old joke: we'll send you to Siberia or the North Pole. Dow Jones outpost. Uh, Justice Department prepares subpoenas and News Corp inquiry to feed that, of course, into Soros. Uh, It continues that old allies of uh, Murdoch are turning against him, London Independent. So we'll be looking at that. Meanwhile, Senator Grassley and also Congressman Issa have been saying for weeks, and there's more news on this today, that clearly the Justice Department and Eric Holder have been caught perjuring themselves on not knowing about Fast and Furious. It's now confirmed from California to Texas to, to, to Illinois to Florida, the FBI, the DEA, the ATF, they're not just shipping guns to Mexico by the tens of thousands. They're shipping them to drug gangs inside the United States and then blaming the Second Amendment. At least five cops now have been killed by this in the last two years and three Border Patrol agents confirmed. Three Border Patrol agents, five cops uh, the attorney general is an accessory to murder. If you or I went and sold guns to gangs that we knew were targeting police that are very vicious, like MS-13, Los Zetas, and others, you would get life in prison. In fact, they might even finagle a jury to convict you for accessory to murder, which you can get executed for. Now, this is serious business here we're talking about. So remember, while we're talking about hacking scandals and things and people are dying or associated with it, and this could bring down the prime minister, and I think there should be an investigation, what about the attorney general? What about George Soros' media matters bragging publicly and, and memos going out, political reporting, we're going to infiltrate and get hired at News Corps, and we're going to destroy them from within? That's sabotage. That's just as illegal as what's going on here. So uh, there is a serious war going on right now. Uh, continuing, Grassley sees DOJ cover-up in Fast and Furious investigation. A senior Senate Republican has accused the Justice Department of a cover-up. Well, they got caught perjuring themselves. It's now confirmed they ordered it by limiting information to Congress about a botched gun running program along the southwest border. Only thing that was botched is they got caught. Okay, 
it, it isn't botched that they wanted to stop guns. They wanted to blame the Second Amendment. And they don't care they've been caught staging this. They're still going after the Second Amendment using what they did as the excuse. Optics Planet is calling all hunters, shooters, and outdoorsmen. It's time to gear up. As the best online retailer of rifle scopes, red dot sights, lasers, and other firearm accessories, Optics Planet has a special deal to offer GCN listeners. You may already know OpticsPlanet.com has the best selection of weapon lights, holsters, night vision, binoculars, and tactical gear on the planet. With incredibly low prices, free shipping on most orders, and USA-based phone support, Optics Planet is the online retailer of choice for discerning gun owners and outdoor enthusiasts. Featuring Loophole, Blackhawk, Eotech, Crimson Trace, Night Force, Trigicon, Surefire, over 700 top brands. For a limited time, head to OpticsPlanet.com slash GCN to get a free Streamlight Keymate, the world's most powerful keychain light with purchase. That's OpticsPlanet.com slash GCN or call 800-332-OPTICS right now to speak with an Optics Planet product specialist. 800-332-6784. Iodine protection packs from HempUSA.org are now in stock for immediate delivery worldwide. Our iodine protection packs include micro plant powder, green life kelp, red palm oil, and our clear roll-on iodine that will feed the body the iodine it needs. All iodine protection packs are in stock. Save you money and ship for free in all 50 states. Visit HempUSA.org or call 908-691-2608 today. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years in serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Well, I'm sure Norway is going to go along with uh, the bailout of the bankers, which is really the takeover of the bankers. After all, they need to do what the government says. Terrorists just hit them and hit them hard today. You can look for that every time bankers take down a country. The terrorists hit. So everybody, again, rallies around the government. Breaking Oslo blast targets prime minister's office. Massive vehicle bomb report. People trapped. Eyewitnesses. Total chaos. I've been playing that video for folks that are watching the radio show at Prison Planet 
TV. We're going to get into General Electric reports a 21.6 rise in profits, pays zero taxes. Well, when you run the president's economic council, you get to shut down the power plants you don't own, your profits go up, you're tax free, and your boys write the tax laws. We've had the head of General Electric lately calling for tax increases on the rich. They mean the person that owns a restaurant and drives a Mercedes. The average folks think that's rich, and don't worry, they'll be destroyed, and you won't ever have any jobs. And a lot of you will be homeless. But, hey, it'll be fun to buy into big government. That's a receivership arm for the government. Yeah, uh, paid no tax on $5.1 billion profit. Uh, Boehner says they're not even close to an agreement on the debt ceiling. Democrats outraged want more taxes. Senate rejects House plan, takes weekend off. So even the, the House is paltry, what, $2 trillion or so in cuts over a few years? That's nothing. A paltry cut. That has been uh, completely uh, overturned. Pressure S&P, uh, the ratings agencies that work for the big banks, are, are threatening uh, to downgrade the U.S., downgrade multiple uh, states within the United States if we don't, um, again, give the bankers everything. Uh, we've already given them more than all the real assets in the world, and they're just creating more derivatives and then demanding we underwrite those. So we're going to continue breaking all of that down. But I cannot... I cannot state any more clearly to all of you out there just how big of a deal this is, just how huge it is that there have been bombings in Europe because nine times out of ten or more, these bombings in Europe and the United States are completely 100% staged. And it's been proven over and over again, and I told you it would come during the big economic takeover of Europe. And speaking uh, of economic uh, takeover, states negotiating immunity for banks over foreclosures. State attorneys generals are negotiating to give major banks wide immunity over irregularities, taking people's houses they didn't own, lying in court about owning them. In handling foreclosures, even as evidence has emerged that banks are continuing to file questionable documents. Of course they are. That's out of Reuters. And the same thing's going on in Europe. This isn't going to go away. I mean, again, 12 years ago, the government signed deals with major insurance companies to steal the death benefits of all veterans. When you die, you pay into insurance, you're not going to get it. And... The media doesn't care. The government, in fact, it's unpatriotic. It's anti-military to even mention it. You're just supposed to wrap tyranny in a flag, worship it. That's patriotism. Well, I guess we're just not patriotic here then. We don't like the offshore banks doing this. A coalition of 50 state attorney generals has been negotiating settlements with five of the biggest U.S. banks, U.S. banks, globalist banks, that would include... Payment of up to $25 billion in penalties, uh, they've stolen trillions, and commitments to follow new rules. In exchange, the banks would get immunity from civil lawsuits by the states. Slap on the wrist. Yeah, Wells Fargo and uh, Wachovia launder $300-plus billion in two years of drug money. They get a $100 million fine. It's like you rob a bank for a million bucks, you pay a $3,000 fine is the equivalent. And uh, it, it's, the article goes on to say that uh, this is all just continuing. This is all continuing. This is all going on still. They're not stopping. In fact, uh, they're intensifying uh, their actions uh, on this front. And it just shows you the absolute lawlessness. This is a military financial coup d'etat. This is agreed upon by the Republican and the Democratic uh, pimps that are owned by the globalists. And this is a program that we laid out to you what happened. And they are codifying it. They are setting the precedent to be completely and totally lawless and do whatever they want while throwing the book at the citizens for crooked toenails. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders has released the Fed audit, a partial audit, confirming $16 trillion in secret payments to foreign banks and private individuals and companies like MSNBC in the last two years. $16 trillion dollars. See, this is what the heist is about. This is why government's going along with it. They're getting paid off. And Senator Sanders shouldn't get on airplanes anytime soon. I'll tell you that right now. And, and, and we'll tie this into Europe, then get into the big story we haven't even covered yet.